as far as uh, the roommate search is uh, concerned i don't think uh, other than facebook anything else would be required it's good to start early so if you're uh, looking for a completely new apartment with no seniors or some something like that if you have a couple of friends with you and you want to uh, rent an apartment if you start early you definitely get a better uh, lease agreement like lower rent rates and better apartments so it's good to start early as as soon as you get your visa done and get everything else sorted the ideal scenario would be a two bedroom apartment with around 4 to 5 people so the rent shouldn't be more than say 350 dollars or 400 dollars and as far as transport goes well the public transport in texas to sum it up is horrible so don't rely on public transport the good thing about utd especially is the shuttle bus service is completely free it's pretty frequent it's punctual so you don't uh, they have a service to walmart so you don't have to worry about groceries i personally never felt any kind of homesickness because yeah i was lucky enough to have decent roommates we had fun as well as they were uh serious about the studies as well so there was a good balance there the learning experience is good the professors are really good so if you get in the rhythm of studying regularly and doing the assignments on time and being dedicated towards the assignments that's a really good uh start uh start to, uh like a starting approach for that and apart from that the most different thing about the education here uh, compared to india is it's less of exam oriented and more of act uh, assignment or assignments and project oriented once you get an admit you can use your uh, you, uh, university email address to contact the professors a lot of students did that they contacted the professors before coming to the us and getting a ta and ra beforehand is pretty much difficult unless you have a lot of research experience back in india or some kind of special projects that the professor might find impressive so okay. one way to go about the ta and ra uh, ta and ra approach is talk to the professors beforehand work as a volunteer in their lab and the professors have really interesting projects going on so do your research before coming and the professors are really open i did not know that and i regret not contacting them before but they are pretty pretty much open they'll discuss uh, their research whenever they find time and they even help you contact with their ras and their phd students that's a pretty good exposure you can talk to them about the courses you can talk to them about what kind of research they are doing and they are pretty helpful i personally came around 10 days before the first day of classes i didn't find any problem as such they make you feel comfortable around everyone they help you interact with people they give you certain tips on how to uh manage the international scenario they'll take you uh, for a tour of the university they'll uh that's pretty much basic nothing a senior student cannot help you with the maximum i've seen in my classes is around 40 students and that's like the maximum maximum otherwise it's around 20 to 15 students per class in mechanical design concentration the uh, the number of indian students were around 60 to 70% as well in some classes and apart from that the uh, next major uh, next majority of students are from china and a lot of students from the middle east in mechanical engineering as well activity center at utd was pretty good they, they had different sports the gym was good and they had different uh, training activities as well like i tried mixed martial arts training for some time they had dance clubs they had various other clubs like the list of clubs just goes on there were around 20 to 30 different types of clubs including sports and other activities and apart from that isa regularly organizes 
uh, Indian cultural events, the festivals and everything. So people uh, also like participating in that. 